some company who's buying traffic stop doing this yeah you can tell them like hey this channel has a fraud, fraudulent uh, traffic these guys are not delivering the right thing how, how would that actually go no it's a it's an awesome question so this is the beauty about having fraud detection as part of your attribution tool mm -hmm. when we see fraud we automatically remove it from the attribution waterfall so if someone is behaving fraudulently they're never able to get a claim to be attributed as the source. So what you're saying is I go to Google, they give me a bill of 10 bucks and I say, mm -hmm. no, 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 I have only three bucks for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that right? That's generally right. Google behaves a little differently, just no, like course, Facebook this because they're a self-treating mm -hmm. network. Let's say they were ad network XYZ. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they're in a normal independent um, ad network. The answer is yes. Um, more importantly, uh, the way our system works is the bill that you get from the network is only for the three dollars because they never even hear of the signals that should have happened if a different measurement tool was used so they couldn't send you a different bill so we we mute the signal from even being syndicated to the partner if it's fraudulent mm -hmm. so they can't even uh, do the feedback loop and that actually serves the network as well because oftentimes the network is just as much of a victim as the advertiser. It's the, it's the sub-publisher who's trying to victimize. Where they are going for the traffic, right? That's right. That's so right. even they don't have sometimes tools That's to identify they, they where the fraud, fraud comes from. They usually right? don't. It's some small vendor somewhere yep. that find a loophole and they right. just blow it. And here's what happens. One vendor will actually configure to work with five ad networks through a mediation system. Mm -hmm. And they run them like a daisy chain until it stops working. And if something stops working, they just maximize through the other four. So it's it's a very common approach. Um, Thank you for watching to the end. You are awesome. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe if you want to get inside of the game industry. And if you are in the game industry already, this is the right place for you. We are running a global networking community of everybody in the game industry. And... This is a perfect platform for you to get all the resources you need to publish your games or get your games promoted. Take care, guys, and see you in the next show.